Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Taku. In this episode, we set sail from Isla Isabella to Bahia Matenchen, a protected bay great for anchoring and known for its exceptionally long surf breaks. <laughs> All right, we're headed into town. We could tell from the boat that we'd need to land the dinghy on the beach and that there was going to be a bit of a surf break. Do you want to get the anchor set up? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I think you're gonna get wet. Really? Beach landings are still a little bit new to us. I made the mistake last time of getting in front of the dinghy when we were landing it on the beach, so I'm gonna do that this time. Okay, we gotta put the GoPro away. So we've had a change of heart. We saw that there's a really nice surf here. It's really small, like a beginner wave, but it'll be a lot of fun. So we went back to get the surfboard. <laughs> hey, I'm Curtis, and this is Sabrina, and this is our sailboat, Taku, a 1981 Fraser 36. We have just sailed from Vancouver Island, Canada along the west coast of the United States to Pacific Mexico. Subscribe to follow along on our adventure. Hell yeah! Well, just as we got back here with the surfboard, we lost the swell. So I don't think we'll be doing any surfing, but we're just gonna hang out here on the beach close to the dinghy and maybe try one of these restaurants and hopefully Hopefully there's more of a surf in a little bit. So we're here at the Albatross restaurant. It's right where we pulled up the dinghy on the beach. And there's quite a few iguanas running around here and they said there's a family of 10 of them that live in the roof. So we are heading into town right now. There's supposedly a crocodile tour. So you go and meet a panga and then they take you for a few hours and you can go swimming in a river. So hopefully there's no crocodiles there, but we're gonna head out in the next five minutes. Going for a crocodile tour. <laughs> We were really looking forward to this eco tour that promised an array of wildlife sightings in the mangroves. Only a few minutes into the Ponga ride, we spotted crocodiles basking in the sun, a boa constrictor snake perched in the tree, and turtles scattered on logs. So we've been taken to this part of the tour here, which is a fenced area where they've got some some crocs fenced up, so it's kind of sad. And they have an area that you can swim in, but it doesn't look like anybody's swimming. Supposedly this is where young crocs are bred and their eggs hatched in safety to be released into the river. This is hard to watch. It was really difficult to watch this jaguar in such a small enclosure pacing back and forth and clearly very distressed. We can only hope its captivity is truly for conservation purposes. Mm -hmm. 
We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. So while I was editing this episode, I stumbled upon this post online where a woman claims that she was attacked by a crocodile on this tour. It doesn't look like anybody's swimming. So I just wanted to make sure that if anyone was taking our advice and they wanted to go check out uh, the croc tour in the San Blas area to definitely proceed with caution. Um, while reading through some of these online posts, it sounded like it had happened to some other people as well in the fenced area where you can swim. Uh, we didn't film it, but we did end up swimming there for a bit. Um, so luckily nothing happened to us. Uh, we definitely don't want to hurt um, the business at all. We really enjoyed the tour, minus the caged animals. We definitely could have done without that. But the tour on the Ponga, through the mangroves, seeing all the wild crocodiles and the turtles and the boa constrictor snakes was really cool. Um, and I think you can pay a little bit less, we found out later, and just do the Ponga tour through the mangroves. So if that's something that you want to do, you can definitely do that. Um, but please proceed with caution if you do decide to swim in the fenced area. All right, so we just got back to the dinghy and we picked up some treats on the way. What do we got there, Kurt? Chocolate muffin. My chocolate muffin, which feels like it's right out of the oven. <laughs> mm, these little coconut balls. They're known for their baked goods in this town and they're really delicious. So we're here on the beach and Curtis is gonna go and do some surfing. While we really enjoyed this calm and protected anchorage, by the time we left, we were covered in dozens of bug bites from the noceums that swarm this area. Curtis had to get in a couple more surf sessions before we take off further south. This time I opted to stay and watch from the boat to avoid any further noceum bites. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you're enjoying our videos, make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and share it with your friends. If you want to go that extra mile, check out our Patreon. The link is in the bio. Bye!